You know, this is what you call a good old-fashioned satanic doozy. Of course, things are being accelerated now. All-American Justin Timberlake, you know, the Mr. Nice Guy, has been accelerated as this is his new time. His new video dropped today. It's called Supplies. And, of course, they're holding nothing back now, it seems. It's being accelerated. Justin Timberlake is showing all of his cards completely sold out to Satan. And yes, he has sold out. Now, we know that truly a soul cannot be sold. But we do know that there is satanic negotiation, which does occur. The only thing is, once you make that deal, you have to sing what they tell you to sing. And the videos you do are according to what they want you to do. Why? Because this particular artist, Justin Timberlake, along with many others, are sucking you into hell for all eternity. Now, some of you don't like to believe that, because Justin would never do that, but he is. They don't care an iota about you. They are narcissists who have sold everything for a season of fame and fortune. It's unbelievable. What I see here today in this video, we're going to take just a little peek at it. I'm not going to play any clips. I'm just going to show you some stills because I don't want a copyright strike. you got to ask yourself, why do all these artists do this? What does this have to do with music? How oh, good grief, look at this. This is, I guess this is the way new music is put out today. What does this have to do with music again? Just to prove my point, do you remember a show called American Bandstand? A guy named Dick Clark hosted it 30, 40 years ago. When they brought out a new song, they played for the dancing teens out in the audience. They'd dance. Hey, guys, tell me what you think of this new song. They'd call a couple of kids up after it. Hey, Jason, what would you think of the new song by Casey and the Sunshine Band? Well, Dick, it was pretty, pretty sweet. I could move my hips to it, and I found that my feet were shimmying pretty easy on the ears. That's how new music used to be rolled out. Now, in less than 40 years later, take a look-see. Now, you think it's harmless. No, no, it's just art. No, it's not. This is called indoctrination. This is called brainwashing, ushering in the Luciferian New World Order, which is coming. You better wake up. Please don't choose to remain asleep. Again, ask yourself, what does this have to do with music? This is absolutely ridiculous, and every artist is doing it. Now, towards the end of the video, a child approaches the camera as if addressing you, the viewer, and literally screams at you, Wake up, why are you still asleep? Or are you still asleep? And this is their way of mocking you because there's so many who willingly choose to stay asleep. They don't want to believe that there's a holy war happening, a war for your soul. Well, oh, there's so many asleep right now that I really couldn't call it a war. It's more like a slaughter. Satan is slaughtering mankind because they just choose not to believe in the living God. And this is the saddest part. This video, the reason I'm doing this is to see, are there any that are going to wake up to realize that there is only one way to salvation through Jesus Christ? Or do you just think that Justin is such a nice guy, he would never do something like that? See, but try to understand, that's the whole point of using celebrities to lull you to sleep or to get you to not believe in God because... Most people do whatever their favorite celebrities tell them to do, or they want to emulate them, which is why Oprah's had su such success also. Now, Justin's a really good dancer. He would never do... No, you guys just can't believe what's going on out there, or you refuse to see what's happening as these celebrities are going to take you to hell for all eternity. Justin negotiated for his fame and fortune for a season. But he's in for a rude awakening on Judgment Day as he will be ushered into hell. And I'll tell you what, folks, 
that's when life begins. His fame and fortune for a couple of seasons compared to an eternity in hell? You just keep not believing it. Keep not believing it. Now, I also want you to keep an eye on the Super Bowl. Uh, Justin, obviously, you can see him being pampered and primped. This is his time. He's going to do something big at the Super Bowl, which will more than likely be more satanic than usual. Just keep your eye on that and see what happens. It's coming up here in just a couple of weeks. Should be fairly shocking if he is to stay right on pattern. Now, if you've stayed with me up until now, then surely there must be a reason. I'm going to show you what's happening in this world today. 2 Timothy chapter 3. Look what has been prophesied. This is the time we live in. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God. Does any of this ring true to you? Does it sound familiar? It describes much of the world today. Much of the world loves pleasure more than God. But there's something that you're feeling inside where you don't want this. You don't have to go down with this burning satanic ship. You don't have to go down with the ship. Jesus Christ offers you salvation today. Now in Romans chapter 10, verse 13, look what it says. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you are tired of this satanic world, and you're tired of sin, and you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, you can do it today. Get on your knees and pray. Father in heaven, forgive me of my sins. I confess that I am a sinner. I ask you into my heart, Jesus, that you would forgive me and that you would help me and that you would wash me clean in the blood you shed for me. Because you died for me, Jesus, I accept your salvation. And I pray that you would help me to live the rest of my life on earth so that I could have the rest of eternity with you and the glory of your Father. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, you can private message me. Are things going to get easier? No. Nobody's promised an easy life. But I'll tell you what, you can be saved by Jesus Christ today. The world mocks Jesus Christ. They don't believe in God, nor do they want to. So the question you have to ask yourself is, do you want to be part of this world? Do you want to die with the world? Because Scripture tells us that the world is going to die. You can be saved. Saved by a God who loves you so much that he died for you. And if you need a Bible, I can send you a Bible. If you have any questions, you can private message me, uh, and I'll respond to you. But give your life to Jesus today. He is our only hope. Call upon the name of Jesus Christ.